Daring Marine YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about how crankcase explosion in marine diesel engine happens and their indication and prevention. How crankcase explosion in a marine diesel engine happens and their indication and prevention. So let's discuss in detail. Crankcase explosion. These are mainly because of high operating temperature of engine. High due to high operating temperature of engine. High operating temperature and metal to metal contact between moving parts leads to development of hot spots at various places in crankcase. High operating temperature and metal to metal contact between moving parts. This leads to development of hot spots at various places in crankcase. Okay, crankcase explosions are mainly because of high operating temperature of engine. High operating temperature and metal to metal contact occur between moving parts leads to development of hot spots at various places in crankcase. Crankcase is rich of lube oil. We know that plenty of lube oil availability is there in crankcase. When this lube oil contact with hot spot, it will catch fire and then leads to explosion. Okay, the crankcase is rich of lube oil. When this lube oil contact with hot spot, it will catch fire and leads to explosion. It is necessary that flash point of lubricating oil to be maintained around 200 degrees Celsius. It is to be maintained that flash point of lubricating oil to be maintained around 200 degrees Celsius. If this is not done, then there are high chance of lubricating oil to catch fire. If this is not done, the flash point is not maintained with around 200 degrees Celsius, then there are high chance of lubricating oil to catch fire. Hot spots are created in the crankcase as a result of many reasons are there. Like I mentioned, high temperature due to reciprocating moment of piston, high temperature due to reciprocating moment of piston, increasing bearing temperature. If the bearing temperature increases, spark entering the crankcase due to leaky piston rings or piston bloppers. Due to leaky piston rings or piston bloppers, spark may enter the crankcase. Spark entering the crankcase due to leaky piston rings or piston bloppers. Fire in the adjacent scavenger trunk. If there is fire in the adjacent scavenger trunk, fire in the adjacent scavenger trunk. Then this other reason. Then primary explosion. First, there will be primary explosion means when the lube oil in the crankcase it is in contact with the hot spot, the oil will get vaporized. When the lube oil in the crankcase it is in contact with hot spot, the oil will get vaporized. And this vaporized particle travel to the cooler part of the crankcase. This vaporized particle will travel to the cooler part of the crankcase and they get condensed into a white mist. And they get condensed into a white mist. This will have an oily particle properly dispensed in it. This will have a small little amount of oily particle properly dispensed in it. This process takes place somewhat similar to atomization. This process is somewhat similar to atomization. And white mist, when this again travel to the hot spot area, when this white mist again travel to the hot spot area, this can easily catch fire, which might lead to primary explosion. When this white mist again easily travel to the again travel to the hot spot area, and it can easily catch fire, which will lead to primary explosion. The primary explosion, which might be much might be mild and sufficient enough to lift the crankcase relief valve. The primary explosion will be mild, but it is sufficient enough to lift the crankcase relief valve. But there could be more severe dangerous effect when it continues to lead to secondary explosion. But more dangerous and severe effect will be during the second explosion. Okay, primary explosion means when the lube oil in the crankcase is in contact with the hot spot and the oil will get vaporized. When this oil vaporized particle travels to the cooler part of the crankcase, they will get condensed into white mist and which has oily particles properly dispersed in it. The process that takes place is somewhat similar to atomization. The white mist there will again tra tra travel to the hot spot area and it will easily catch fire. This might lead to primary explosion. And the primary explosion, which might be mild, and uh, but it must be sufficient enough to lift the crankcase relief valve. And this could lead to more severe and dangerous effects leading to and uh, during the secondary explosion. Secondary explosion. Secondary explosion means this primary explosion will produce a shock wave which has breaking effect, which will further reduce the size of oil droplets and producing more fuel for ignition. Means primary explosion means it is shocking wave. They produce a shocking wave and it has a breaking effect. So that it will reduce the size of oil droplets, producing more fuel for ignition, some more atomized fuel for ignition. So now the air enters into scavenge space through leaky piston gland or leaky relief valve. So if the air enters the scavenge space through leaky piston gland or leaky relief valve, this new air and new supply of fuel produced after the first explosion. The new air and new supply of fuel that produced after the first explosion, that is primary explosion, come in contact with hot spot. Come in contact with the hot spot. This will cause an another explosion that is known as secondary explosion. This will be extremely severe as the amount of fuel is high now because the fuel is atomized and it will burn very efficiently so that secondary explosion will be very dangerous, extremely severe. And this explosion is known as secondary explosion and it may cause severe damage to engine plating. Even engine plating, plating they will cause damage. Okay.
for the second secondary explosion means we mentioned like the primary explosion produces shock wave they will break have a breaking effect which will further reduce the size of oil droplet and produce more fuel for ignition now if the air enters a scavenge space through the leaky piston gland or leaky relief valve the new air and new supply of fuel produce are the first explosion the primary explosion with hot they will come in contact with hot spot causing another explosion this explosion is not a secondary explosion it will be extremely severe as the amount of fuel is high now and this explosion causes severe damage to the engine plating also so let's see what are the indications or the pre explosion signs of a crankcase explosion what are the indication we can understand means sudden increase in the exhaust temperature sudden the exhaust temperature temperature will be high then increase in the load of the engine if there is sudden increase in the load of the engine then irregular running of the engine some incongruous noise if coming from the engine smell of white mist these are some of the indication means exhaust temperature is high sudden increase then load of the engine sudden increase the running is running sorry the engine is running irregularly then some there is incongruous noise from the engine then smell of white mist in case of this indication engine speed should be brought down we should reduce the speed or rpm and supply of fuel and air should be stopped but lubricating oil we can continue but supply of fuel should be stopped and air should be stopped and the system should be allowed to cool down by opening indicator cock and turn on the internal cooling system and we should open the indicator cock and turn on the internal cooling system so pre explosion signs means exhaust temperature will be high the load on the engine, sudden sudden drop in the load of the engine will be there uh, sudden increase in the load of the engine will be there then irregular irregular running of the engine will be there then incongruous noise from the engine is there smell of white mist in case all these indications are there there you need to reduce the speed of engine that means re reduce the speed that is reduce the rpm then supply of fuel and air should be stopped then air then system should then allow to cool down by we should open the indicator cock then system allow system to cool down and turn on the internal cooling system how to prevent what we need to prevent the crankcase explosion is there prevent the generation of hot spot is the only thing we can do to prevent crankcase explosion so we need to prevent the condition and the reduce the formation of hot spot or generation of hot spot proper lubrication that will avoid metal to metal contact so that the high temperature and metal to metal contact friction and there, there will be no hot spot formation so proper lubrication should be provided avoid sudden change in the engine load and overloading we should avoid sudden change in engine load and there will be and avoid overloading also use oil mist detector in crankcase with alarm we should use oil mist detector omd that means oil mist detector with the crankcase in with alarm and pressure relief valve fitted on the crankcase should be tested periodically that means our pressure relief valve that is fitted on the crankcase it should be tested periodically because whether it is working efficiently or calibrated good and all we should check that very efficiently then crankcase door there should be made of a strong and durable material the crankcase door should be made of a strong and durable material and vent pipes it shouldn't be too large should be checked for any choke up the vent pipes that should be fitted it should be checked for any choke up and crankcase door there should be made of a strong and durable material the crankcase door that we made should be made of a strong and durable material these are the ways how we can prevent the crankcase explosion thank you